hello guys so in this video i will show you how to reverse a link list now in this list this is the first node this is the second node this is the third node and this is the fourth node and after reversing this list this last node should become the first node this should become the second node this should become the third node and this first node should become the last node in the list here I have declared the function and the name of this function is reverse and it, it is of type struct node pointer and it takes one argument which is the value of start. Now this printf statement will display a message to the user that enter 9 to reverse and this should be 10 and in the switch statement this should be case 10. Now case 9, this is the function call and this reverse function will be called with the value of start and this function is not of type void so it will return some value and that value will be assigned to start. Now I will define this reverse function. Here I have declared three pointer variables previous ptr and next and previous equals to null and ptr is assigned the value of start and now I will explain you all this code. Now initially ptr will store the value of start and start always stores the address of the first node so ptr will be here ptr means first node now this while condition will be true because ptr is not equal to null and ptr link means link part of this node which is the address of the next node which is 1005 according to this example so the address of the next node will be assigned to next so next will store the address of the next node. Now ptr link means link part of this node and link part of this node will be assigned the value of previous and previous initially will be equal to null. So previous is equal to null so null will be assigned to link part of this node so this will become equal to null now the link part of first node has become null and if we reverse this list then this first node should become the last node in the list and the link part of last node should always be null now the value of previous was null but now previous is assigned the value of ptr and value of ptr is 1002 so now previous means this node now previous is at this node then ptr will be assigned the address of the next node which is this because at this point ptr link was storing the address of this node but after this we changed the value of we changed the link part of ptr to null but i had already stored the address of this node in next so now i can assign the address of this node to ptr so ptr now means this node so ptr is at this node now then again this while condition will be checked and this time also ptr is not equal to null this while condition is true so this statement will be executed now ptr link means link part of this node which is the address of this node so the address of this node 
will be assigned to next so next stores the address of this node now ptr link means link part of this node and it will be assigned the value of previous now previous stores the address of this node which is 1002 so ptr link will now store the address of this node the previous node which is 1002 now this is how it should look like now the address of this node is 1005 and this node should store the address of its previous node which is this its address is 1002 Now previous will be assigned the value of PTR. PTR is storing the address of this node. So previous now means this node. And PTR will be assigned the value of next. And next is storing the address of this node. So PTR now means this node. Then again this while condition will be checked and this time also PTR is not equal to null and PTR link means link part of this node which is the address of this node. So the address of this node will be assigned to next. Next will store the address of this node. Now PTR link means link part of this node and link part of this node will store the address of the previous node which is 1005 so this is how it should look like now the address of this node is 1007 and this node should store the address of this node and the address of this node is 1005. Now previous will be assigned the value of PTR and the value of PTR is 1007. So previous now means this node. And PTR will be assigned the value of next and next is storing the address of this node. So PTR now means this node. Now again this while condition will be checked and this time also PTR is not equal to null. So this while condition is true so this statement will get executed now PTR link is link part of this node and link part of this node is equal to null so null will be assigned to next so next is equal to null now ptr link is the link part of this node and link part of this node will be assigned the value of previous and previous is storing the address of this node which is 1007 so 1007 will be assigned to link part of this node so this is how it should look like now the address of this node is 1009 and this node should store the address of its previous node which is this and its address is 1007 now previous will be assigned the value of PTR and the value of PTR is this so previous now means this node and PTR will be assigned the value of next and the value of next is null so now PTR will be equal to null. PTR is null now. Then again this while condition will be checked and this time PTR is 
equal to null so this while condition becomes false so this while loop will get terminated and if this while loop gets terminated then the control will move to this statement and this statement will get executed now start will be assigned the value of previous and the value of previous is 1009 so start will now store 1009 the address of this node and when the link list is reversed then the last node becomes the first node in the list as you can see here so start should now store the address of this node so this is how it should look like and you can see this whole link list has been reversed in the end we should return the value of start because the value of start has changed the last node has become the first node in the list so the so the new value of start should be updated in the main function so this is the end of this function so this is the list and if i reverse this list then it should display 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see 9 to reverse now display so this list has been reversed it's showing 1 2 3 4 5 so this is how a linked list is reversed and this was my last video on linked list so that's all for now and thanks for watching everyone